In this video, we're going to learn how to restrict actions within our Strapi API using Strapi's user and permissions plugin and the HTTP authorization header. If you haven't heard of Strapi, you can watch my video on learning Strapi in 12 minutes. We're going to have the Strapi admin panel here on the left and Postman, which is a free application for creating and sending HTTP requests, here on the right. For this video, I've already created a content type named article, which has two fields named title and body. I've also already used the roles and permissions plugin to allow the public role permission to the find and find one actions. This allows unauthorized users to view articles individually or as part of a collection. I've also already created a new user within the user content type with the username editor and assign them the authenticated role. I now want to configure it so that only users of this role have permissions to create, update and delete articles. To do this, we'll go back into the roles and permissions plugin, select the authenticated role from the list and tick the boxes giving this role permission to create, destroy and update. We'll also give this role permission to view articles too. Let's save up and switch to Postman to test some requests, both with and without authorization to see how this works. First, we'll try to get a list of all articles as an unauthenticated user using a GET request. Great, this works as intended. We can only see the two articles that exist in our database. Now, let's try to create a post as an unauthenticated user using a post request. Great, we're being shown an error message saying this action is forbidden. This shows that an unauthenticated user doesn't have permission to create articles. Now, let's try creating a post as an authenticated user using a post request. First, we need to get an authentication token by authenticating. Let's send a post request to forward slash auth forward slash local with the following parameters. Identifier, which can be the username or the email of our user and their password. This will return a security token, which we can use to make requests using Postman. Let's create a post request to create an article but this time we'll click the authorization tab to enter our token. For the authorization type, we'll select bearer token and we'll pass in our security token from the last request. If we click send, we can see that we have successfully added a new article entry, which we can verify by resending our first get request to show a list of articles. It's worth mentioning that the roles and permissions plugin comes with many providers for authentication. So check them out if you want to offer alternative methods. That's it for this video on authentication and authorization using Strapi.